Hello everyone. I am Sachin Verma, product manager at Palo Alto Networks. Today I'm going to talk about elevating security for mobile service providers. In today's era of smartphones, tablets, and IoT devices, the threat landscape for mobile service providers is changing. So the legacy focus of the attacks were volumetric attacks for service disruption and recon attacks. Now, the attack focus is expanding. And now we are seeing service disruptions with signaling, floods, and application attacks. As well as there are data and monetary thefts which are targeted towards the mobile service provider as well as towards the subscribers of the mobile service providers. There are events and threats related to control of infrastructure and devices. That means the security requirement of a mobile service provider is changing. So let's take a look at a typical LTE 4G network. We have base stations called as E node Bs. And then we have a connectivity of the backhaul network with the mobile core, where we have a S gateway, serving gateway, which provides mobility to the user plane traffic. And then it's getting connected to the P gateway, which provides connectivity to the mobile subscribers towards the external packet data networks like internet. The mobile core network is called as EPC, and then we have a SGI interface, which is connecting the mobile core to the internet. And here we have a SGI firewall. In addition to this, here we have the users. We have our smartphone users, we have tablets, and then we have a lot of IoT devices. Now, the legacy SGI firewall currently are performing these functionalities. Layer 3, 4 security, IP, TCP, UDP, DOS prevention, and recon attack prevention. Now, let's take a look at the threats which the mobile subscribers, service providers are actually facing today. So we are seeing lots of DNS threats. So these DNS threats are like DNS amplification attack, malformed DNS packet, and then we are seeing a lot of botnets. As the end user devices can be easily infected with malware because they are vulnerable to that, more and more end user devices are becoming part of the botnets and which has been used by uh, you know, hackers to launch service impacting denial of service attacks. Silent SMS. So the malware on the end user devices are sending silent SMS without the knowledge of the end user who is owning the device. And also we are seeing a lot of app DOS and the toll frauds, 
like DNS tunneling. Now you can clearly see all these today's threats are not really being addressed <coughs> by the uh, SGI firewall of a mobile service provider. So we can help the mobile service providers by elevating the security from a layer 3, 4 to a layer 7 security with our next generation security technology. So this will enable the mobile service provider to have more visibility at the application level. And the elevation is from the layer 3, 4 towards the application, user, and malware level, as well as we can help the mobile service provider to monetize security. A few examples like safe surfing with URL filtering, security services for the end users with the antivirus, anti-malware, and you know our other um, IPS features. Now, what we are seeing. today is that the mobile service providers to address all these different threats are adding different dedicated boxes, like different a dedicated IPS box, a antivirus box, a URL filtering device. Now, the challenge with this approach is latency, as well as there are issues related to complexity. So we can achieve all this with our single purposeful build security platform. So we can achieve all this with our purposeful build unified next generation security platform. So this is all for today. Uh, thanks for watching the video. For more details on all the content, what we discussed today, please refer to paloaltonetworks.com and go to the mobile service provider section. Thanks for watching.